the summer they finished the airplane, at some point they had a big party at the airport to celebrate, and then they christened it. And and, and, and it was her that when they, they she had a little bottle of wine that they, I don't know if they broke it or just banged it on the side of it, and she said, I christened the happiness. And, and then people say why, and she'd say, because it made my dad happy. So, good. You know, I don't, I mean, it, it, it got more attention than he ever anticipated it ever would. I mean, I remember sitting in with, at, with him and with the, by the plane at Rockford and stuff, and it was just like a stampede, you know, and it's like, and he just never, he thought, well, this, oh, this is just a little biplane that I built, like all these other ones, but, but he was, so he was surprised. And we just finished rebuilding a J3 Cub for his personal use and said, and that it's during this whole time frame, then the EAA and, and the antiques organizations were getting started. And he said, you know, I'd like to build my own airplane. When dad finished it in 68, he took it down to the antique flying here. It was at Atumwa then, but, and a man named Dudley Kelly got all whipped up about it and liked it. And the next year, convinced Dad that, he, Dudley Kelly was an engineer, a uh, plans drawer, so he convinced Dad to let him come up and measure the airplane and draw his plans and start selling it. So, but, uh, I think, you know, back in those days, home building wasn't uh, all that popular. It was just growing in popularity and, you know, the, the thought of somebody building an airplane, you know, was, you know, kind of far out there for most people to, you know, comprehend you know, to design and build one. Which, you know, they built my dad with their plane nuts since he was a little little kid too, you know. <laughs> Model airplanes in the house and yeah. Yeah. And uh, so it wasn't surprising to him, but it, I think the surprising thing is how popular an airplane he designed became. One thing that's amazing to me that uh, I've learned recently is uh, the when John Hatch was building his airplane and his there there wasn't a whole lot of extra money to spend to build an airplane uh, been a factor I think for a lot of builders for a very small investment you can start building and and get your project underway on your way to building a Hatch biplane all of a sudden the interest in the plane just was overwhelming all throughout the construction of that airplane, people say, what do you build? I say, I'm building a Hats biplane. What's a Hats? Nobody knew what a Hats was. Well, winning the grand champion in that article from Jack Cox brought the plane into the limelight, and I was so happy that it did, not for my sake, but for John's sake. He, he designed a beautiful airplane, and it deserved to get this type of interest. And it made me feel real good to do that. I have a few vague recollections of him with the wing ribs in our living room, you know, and, I, but it, and there's pictures in early A magazines of me and my sister in the what the builders are doing with a pile of wing ribs next to our sofa and stuff like that. My brother and Lyman and Force Lovely and that bunch come from the beer hall and they decided it was time to wake everybody up. So they got on the fire truck and started ringing the bell and running the siren. And I'm watching. And the next thing you know, the cop showed up, and John got up. He was sleeping under the hats, got up. Oh, no, I remember. No, it's okay. They're good boys. They just a little out of hand. Don't worry about them. The cops are wanting to take them in. And John saved all of them's butt that night. But our dad was. Yeah. Oh, God. He was <laughs> syrupy and oh, sappy uh, and all. Oh, and man. He's one of those that can sit down with anybody, any place. And, and when it's in five minutes, he'd, he'd be telling them stories yep. and stuff. He had stories about everything. Yeah, he, yeah, and he made, made one of the finest compliments I ever had in flying. He, when we got out, he said, uh, told me, and there were several people standing there, he said, Taylor uh, uh, flew this all by himself. I never touched the controls. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of them, of his isms, which I, I think I brought him up at the Oshkosh was, you know, he was always a big thing with the 
the only thing worse than a quitter is someone who never starts. So when somebody keeps, after they've been talking about building a plane for, and whether it's a hatch or, or anything, oh, yeah. and all they're doing is talking about building, and then he'd start throwing that ism out there every time, every time the guy would show up, you know, and it's like, well, you're going to build or not, you know. guys yeah <laughs> well I, I said the same thing yesterday not just these guys but to keep people yeah. joining the organization and encouraging them to get involved whether it's in the forum or helping you with some article for the newsletter <laughs> I mean we got it somehow that that message needs to get out there and, and it's it's so people everyone you know it's real easy to sit in the corner and, and complain about, complain about or, and or complain yeah. about what the organization is not doing. But guess what? Yeah. <laughs> you are the organization. Jump on in. You know? I'm all for everything. A lot of people think I should be a purist and shouldn't like the Hats Classic or the Hats Bantam or if somebody changes it. But I welcome people to change it to make it what they, keep the basic design the same, but make it what they would like it to be. And Tweaking it to work best with 180 horse and, and the and the fairing kind of look that he wanted and versus what what mark up in duluth is doing with going the other way you know tweaking it to work better with the, the modern lightweight engines that are that are that are available and, and yeah it's, i mean my dad would be be thinking this is awesome for sure you know my goal is to for the association to continue to inspire people to build the hats or maybe other airplanes the same way it did me and you know I can I'm just one one generation mm -hmm. of hats builders but that's my goal and I'm sure it is yours and and, and that's that's what I think the the, the sole absolutely. function of the association should be absolutely just that yeah. you know it's amazing that it's the 50th year the 50th anniversary of the hats biplane so 50 years of happiness and happy anniversary to the hats biplane